if your fave is not like on tour right now start saving now because they're literally probably gonna like announce the tour tomorrow and at least you know for some reason with k-pop groups like they announce a tour and then like three days later they're like <laughs> the tickets are on sale go get it what is up crackhead nation it's your girl princess galaxy and today i'm gonna be talking to you guys whoa that was a very fast intro. James Charles is shaking. <laughs> I've made so many videos about what to do to at a K-pop concert, what to bring to a K-pop concert, um, yeah, how to get the best tickets for a K-pop concert. And today I'm gonna show you how to actually save money and make money to save up for a K-pop concert. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, like the videos, subscribe. You're on YouTube all the day. You're, you're on YouTube all day. I don't have to ask you to like and subscribe. You're either gonna do it or you're not, okay? <laughs> So today I'm gonna to talk about two main things which are extremely important when it comes to actually saving your money and stuff. Don't worry, it's not gonna be freaking boring because we all know financial stuff can be boring. I wanna to talk to you guys about it because it's one of the most important aspects of not just being like a consumer in America or just any market, but also being a K-pop fan. It's really common for people to like go into debt and to, you know, spend very lavishly and extravagantly on K-pop concerts. And I understand that it is normalized, like I said, in K-pop culture, but today I wanna like maybe ease the blow of that. <laughs> so you guys can at least, you know, have the best chances of not going into debt because I know, you know, the debt crisis in America, whew, and even if you're not in America, if you live in a first world country, you probably have problems with debt in your country as well. So let's, let's get it. So first is budget and the second is making the money. So the first part is budget. So this is basically knowing how much you want to spend, how much you need to spend and being realistic about the money that you need for like that day and everything that coincides with the concert. So this is basically ticket, merch, transportation, other little things like food and things like that. And the main part that's so important about this, it's pretty easy, but it's to know how much you didn't actually spend, like be realistic. There have been a lot of concerts that I've been to, especially when I first started going to concerts and I started like, you know, my job and like my first job, I really was like, okay, well I'm gonna need like, for this whole thing, including the ticket, $200. And now my ticket now costs $200. So <laughs> that's trash. So mainly when it comes to budget, like I said, you're gonna be doing your ticket, merch and transportation and food and other little things like that, little doodads. And in one of my last videos, which is how to survive a K-pop concert. No, that's a lie. <laughs> it was not that video. It was how to actually survive a K-pop concert, which you can check out. I'm assuming it's gonna be right here. Um, Princess, you better put this in post. You better put this in post. <laughs> I'm like yelling at my future self, like you better fucking do this bitch. But anyway, in that video, I made a, basically a checklist on what to bring to a BTS concert, which basically can apply to any K-pop concert or just concert in general. I just had specific things that ARMY would need to know, like, you know, like the light sticks and like, you know, things like that. So I just did that because, you know, like everyone was talking about like, you know, the Mots tour. So you guys can check this out on my Instagram. It's right here. Did you guys know you can get Instagram for iPad? That's like, it's muy loco. I did not realize that. Like, this is hella dope. So I made a section of the checklist for money and this is what I wrote. For merch, light stick, and food, and transportation, but that's also on this side. <laughs> so I wrote bring cash and a credit slash debit card. Check to see how much money you have or available credit on your credit card. And a basic budget I use, which is like what we're talking about right now, is food and drink, 30 to $40, merch, 40 to $200, and a light stick, 40 to $45. And I also wrote the Army Bomb last year was 55 the venue because this was specifically made for the Mott 7 tour, but we won't be having it if um Sister Corona keeps fucking my life up. <laughs> <laughs> but basically that's the main part of it is just kind of like know like your budget if you don't eat that much don't put like $80 don't be like oh $80 for food unless you really enjoy kind of like stretching your money out and being like super super sure like if you don't eat that much put like 40 50 you don't need $100 for food me I would need a hundred dollars because I, I fucking love food. <laughs> Especially me, and my boyfriend going somewhere. Um, 
he eats so much and I eat so much. So I need to be emotionally prepared for that financially as well. Now for ticket prices, I didn't talk about this in my checklist, but for ticket prices, if you're gonna be saving for a ticket or like say your fave hasn't announced the tour yet, but they just came out with an album. <laughs> NCT 127, <laughs> I was not able to get tickets, but I'm gonna try stuff up. <laughs> if you know the amount that the ticket is probably gonna end up costing, which um, depending on the group can be 60 to maybe $400. <laughs> It hurts me to say that, but at the same time, I did spend almost $500 last year to see Blackpink. Basically, the most important thing when it comes to that is adding tax and fees. So depending on the venue or where sit, what city you're gonna be at, you might wanna add 30 to $40. I would do $40 or $50 just to make sure that you're adding tax along with the ticket. So say if the ticket's like $250, let's say, like if you're getting it when it's on sale, $250, you might wanna add like, you might wanna just say, okay, the ticket's gonna be like $320. Like I just, I would stretch that money. Like that's the only section that I would personally add extra money to because like I said, of the fees and the tickets. But basically I would get, I'm gonna plan on getting my tickets off of StubHub. You should use StubHub, it's great. I talk about it in every one of these freaking videos. I really do need a StubHub sponsorship at this point. Like girl, come on, hook me up. Everybody tweet StubHub asking them to sponsor. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously, I would love them as a sponsor. So the next part, which will definitely help you, is make the money. So you're probably wondering, princess, you know, like, I don't really have a job. Like, I need, like, help. Like, are you the may, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, see, I got you. Why do I keep speaking Spanish for no reason? Like, to people that speak Spanish that watch my videos, yo, yo es... Muy siento. It's at this moment she realized she fucked up. <laughs> so there are a few options for you. You can sell your stuff on things like Mercari and Depop. You guys have probably heard of these. They're basically resale stores, online resale stores, or like places like Etsy. You can, you know, make your own type of thing. It really all just depends on what's comfortable for you. If you have a lot of shit in your house, like me <laughs> and my mom, <laughs> there is way too much cargo in this house just for the two of us. So um, I just wanna say that randomly to expose my mother. I know you're watching. If you're interested in joining Mercari, I actually have a link in the description where you can get $10 off your first purchase and I will also get $10 as well. And I think it's a really cool program and system. Mercari is so easy to use. Like I'm not just saying that because like, oh, I get $10. I'm literally saying it because I have made so much money off of Mercari. And I'm gonna show you one second. All right, so in total, I have made almost $900. 900 buckaroonies. And even though I'm not like a hardcore, like, you know, sell, 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 like this is my main business. A lot of people make, I can, like, I know someone who makes literally $500 a week off of like Mercari and Depop. So I really recommend like those type of things, especially like most, like, I know that other people from other countries are watching this, but for most world, first world countries, we have so much stuff like just laying around. Like, look at this, look at this. This is just a book. I don't even know what this is. I could sell it on Mercari for like six bucks and then I can make like four. I mean, at least it's not a lot, but it's something. Like, let me let me read some of it. You're sure I did, okay? Yes, positive. Really, you were fine. It was the next morning and Bob and Amanda were pushing through the weekend crowds at the National Zoo. First of all, I don't know who the fuck Bob and Amanda are and I don't even know how I got this book. But you know what? I could probably sell it on Mercari with another book and make it a bundle or anything like that. So... Yeah, so I would recommend just going around your house. Um, if you live with other people, like just look in your stuff first. Don't be going in your mom's shit, fucking her vibe up <laughs> with you being like, I want bang, I want BTS tickets, I want NCT tickets, mom, give me all your possessions. So the next is get a side job slash temp job gig type of thing. So you can probably, I'm not sure how worth it it would be to somebody, but I know someone who does DoorDash and certain things like that, and they've made like $200 a night. So that if that's something that interests you, um, you can definitely go out and do that. There's things like Instant Car and you know other type of things. Like if you have a car, you can like go out and do stuff for people. Just like finding little side gigs and like side jobs to do, I think can be really beneficial. So I think it's really important that 
you find a job that's not gonna like just emotionally traumatize you unless that's your like actual job then oh well but i really recommend finding a job maybe like a temp job or even if you know like do old-fashioned thing where like if you know people like if you go to church or like if you're involved in like community stuff ask like especially old people they love giving you money for doing like basic things so if you guys enjoyed this type of video or if you have any experience with you know like getting money like from jobs and things like that or you know like getting money from jobs yeah everyone has most people have experience with that. but i mean if you have any experience with getting money for concerts or like saving up and things like that leave it down in the description if you know any other places or sites where you can like earn money legally you know and all that stuff um yeah <laughs> next week i'm gonna be 21 so i'm gonna probably drink on camera scandalous <laughs> i love you guys so much bye you know and it's like if you want to do it just like do like feet pics you know i mean maybe you have to be over 18 to do that don't maybe don't do feet pics so i don't know what i'm talking about